mind shouting hammered. He shouted over, he goes, hammered, hammered. Everything today has <laughs> been found on the manticore. I burned out like a wandering ember I shone bright and my journey was over What I sought when I ran Was back where I began No matter the rain No matter the storm I'm coming on well, hello and welcome to Found in the Ground. We're in Suffolk today at an unknown location. I mean, we know where it is, we're just not gonna tell you, right? It's a secret. But I'm here, I've got Kev, legend, Colin, semi-legend. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, legend in the making. He's got a dais, so um, <laughs> until he gets a wine lab machine, he's just in the making. But no, he's one of my patrons and it's great to have you along, Martin. Welcome. We're at a site that potentially has got Roman on it, I'm being told. So I'm super duper excited. It's ridiculously busy, so it's going to be a challenge for the manticores today. See if it can pick apart all these bits. You're saying it's a bit messy over there, maybe settlement site? Yeah, it's def definitely a settlement site. I've had hammered and Roman off it, but you have to swing really slow to get through the trash. But there is a lot of coins on it. So it's a good challenge that is. It's going to be about that separation, that iron masking, and whether I can winkle out between those bits and bobs. And I'm still learning the machine as well. Martin's obviously at a disadvantage, bless him. But you guys have got some equinoxes. <laughs> <We'll see. laughs> Colin, you've gone with a sniper coil, which is a good idea. Yep. Nice work. So you're going to try and get in between the targets with a smaller coil. In fact, none of us have gone for anything particularly big for that reason. Anyway. Enough talking from us, let's get out there and let's get finding. Thanks Colin, thanks for your input. <laughs> this one's making the right noises. It was mid 30s. Ah, I can see shiny aluminium. Ah. Bit of tin can. Can we get better than that? Yeah. I've been reliably informed that Martin's found something interesting and he's the only one with a dais. That's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got then, Martin? Hey, look at that. That's a, like an almost complete flipping stirrup, isn't it? Looks like a stirrup, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, they never come up like that. They're all broken to bits and bobs. Huh? Never found a stirrup before. Have you not? Yeah. Oh no, you find the little... um. The bits on the end there and you find the little rowels. Hey, you've got a flipping complete one. A few inches down it. Yeah, probably post medieval. Ah. All the dreams. That's lovely. Well done you. What can I say? Dias. <laughs> <laughs> I think anything would have found that was on the surface. <laughs> Fifty-one, fifty-two. It's got a little bit of an edge to it, but on the whole, yeah, it's pretty stable, isn't it? Right, see what we've got. Well, here it is. It's not anything amazing, I don't think. It's something like off a window latch or something like that. Yeah, looks really familiar in its own special way. But a nice sort of um copper alloy item which is why it sounded quite quite nice there on the, the mid tones wonderful got something peeping here i think we've got a round in the ground is it a coin or a button i think it's got an edge to it yeah it's Fine. coin uh i have to have a clean up and see what that is but it looks a bit odd here we are there's Britannia, so um, we know we're looking at uh, the British farthing by the size of it. The only thing is, is I'm really struggling with the uh, 
There's something there, it's just so frustratingly difficult that one. Is it a Georgius? Just about to see a Georgius in the writing? I mean, it's a safe bet, isn't it? Oh, hang on. George, ah, maybe it's a George the Fourth with that big old neck. Yeah, go on then, let's go with that. George the Fourth. Good day to you, sir. Yeah, yeah, the more I look at it now, the more I can see it. Yeah, 100%. George the Fourth. Farvin, um, what is it? It's not a William the Fourth. Oh no, now I'm questioning myself. Gavillamus. William the Fourth. <laughs> I can't make my mind up. So Farvin. Button. There we go. A little copper one. Complete. Lovely. Soils. It's quite good on the digging, to be fair. There's a, like a crust of iced <laughs> solid. Got to snap it in half. And it's a bit clay-like. Um, but uh, yeah, you can dig them out fairly easily. Got an eyes only find here. Can you see it? Go on. You spot it? I'll give you a clue. It's a baton. Uh, yep. <laughs> And not a metal one either. <laughs> oh dear, that's the first time I found a non-metallic button sunbathing. Yep, I'll take it, it's a find. Boom! It's got a little bit of clay soil going on here, boys, haven't we? <laughs> Honestly, it's how you do your leg your leg workout on a Saturday morning. Yeah. <laughs> We're not doing too well. Between the four of us, we thought we'd have something more by now. Um, but we're being greedy, because it's only been about an hour, but a few buttons and the stirrup isn't cutting it. We thought we were going to be all over the Roman here, but we'll come up with another plan. If not, we'll just um, crack on. She was out there It's actually a very beautiful winter's day. There you go. Little pewter button gave me a little bit of a heart attack there with its shininess. A little bit like Rumpelstiltskin's shiny little boots. Fabulous. I'd like to find something Roman though. Had high hopes, but you know, what can you do if it ain't there? Or if you're not good enough to find it, as some would say. <laughs> anyway, I can happily find buttons like this all day long. It's all a bit of history, innit? Mine's shown hammered. Oh dear, can you stop doing this to us mine lab users, please? I don't want to show you boys up, but... Oh, look. It's, you know... You've got a Tudor. Ooh. Yeah, there's a shield on there, isn't there? Yeah. So it's the size of sort of a Lizzie, sort of sixpence, maybe. Nothing on the other side? It's pretty worn out on the other side, I'm afraid. Yeah. As often they are. But it's very, very flat. Nice work, mate. Congrats. Well done, Can you not get too close to the day? <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> sorry, the dream machine over there. <laughs> I've got what's left of a plate of a buckle thing. Maybe the bit that held the lever in. Oh, yeah, not sure. Definitely was a thing though. So um, I'll call that a find. Kev's. Come on, Kev. Everything today's <laughs> been found on the manticore. Yeah, that's right. Nothing on the dais. We've Nothing been handing the, the finds at all. Yeah, over to um, Martin's been a bit of a jammy. What's it today? Look at this. He's found a William and Mary uh, half penny by the looks of it as well. Very rare to come up like that. I think I've had one and you could barely make out the, the two portraits, but you can see that dual, dual monarchs on there. William and Mary, half penny, nothing on the back. It is a right scrubbed. Yeah, that's a lovely thing. And Martin's absolutely owning it.
it's certainly a screamer. 5960. Mm. It's a nice circle on the target trace. Does it sound coiny? Which is right on the edge of the field. In fact, <laughs> might be digging slightly <laughs> into the verge. Oh, never have much luck on the edge of fields, but here we go. Might be out. Oh yeah, it is out. It's a massive, massive bit of junk. Huge bit of copper, something or nothing. Yeah, oh bugger. Well, that was always gonna sound amazing, wasn't it? My word. <laughs> Look at my feet. <laughs> oh. Here we are with Colin. Hello. He shouted over, he goes, hammered, hammered. He thought he had a hammered. Um, some kind of coppery, maybe a little jetting or something. We just can't clean it up very well. It's certainly not silver. But it could be a little hammered coppered coin. Oh, got all excited, didn't we? Never mind. <laughs> Come on, Manticore. You're just showing us how you're a button master at the moment. That's another one. Welcome to the land of buttons. You can never leave. We will keep you here forever. Here he is, peeping away. Another four holer. Well guys, that's us all done for the day. We've done half a day on um, what should have been some prolific roaming ground. Yes. Honestly, what have you done to me? Drag I don't me down know, I don't know. Conditions weren't good, it's so wet, we've all given up. But we found a few coins, <laughs> buttons, musket balls, and Martin here. He is the top dog of the day. <laughs> well said, uh, uh, Kevin. Well said, Kevin. You two need to have less similar names. You understand this, right? Yes. Uh, Colin, you got a couple of hammered coins, didn't you? I did. Copper ones. Yes. Unbelievable. Yes. But yeah, you absolutely stole the day. Hammered coin, that um, stirrup. Stirrup, yeah. Nearly complete. Yeah, Fantastic. Nice, nice looking thing, that. And I'd load the buttons. Um, on review then, we can't really sing the praises of Mind Lab today uh, because the day has outshone us all. <laughs> that's, not, that's not how it was supposed to go. Um, but for what it's worth, on the Manticore, it was a really, really busy site. And when I had a target, it was there. I definitely was digging buttons and uh, they're not the easiest to target buttons sometimes and they were coming out through the, the busyness. So um, that's a win in that respect. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. There'll be a gallery after this. Hopefully these guys will send me their finds once they're cleaned up. Give me a, a, a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. See you later. Bye. I burned out like a wandering ember. I shone bright and my journey was old. What I sought when I ran Was back where I began No matter